Hey Dennis. Okay, I um, I took the lead screw for the cross slide out. Uh, you did you did have a little needle bearing affair uh, on this side here. No, I didn't see any other needle bearings, just this one. Um, the interesting thing is on the cross slide or uh, on the lead screw, uh, the the amount of play is is pretty consistent the whole length of the lead screw when I have it out of the cross slide uh, and just visibly looking at the threads they appear to be in excellent shape so I, uh, I'm a little curious why you think it would have some play which I measured by the way and it was 12 thousands why the cross slide would have some play in the middle, but then not at the extremes. And I'm wondering if it has something to do with the dovetail, uh, maybe loading the lead screw relative to the, um, the bolt or something. In other words, maybe there's a little bit of a valley. Um, I, haven't, I have a couple granite surface plates laying around and I could check the flatness or maybe I could uh, rig something up, but I'm just wondering if maybe there's a little valley of wear right here. I can't really, it's hard to discern anything of course with my fingers, but I'm wondering if maybe that's what's causing it to move here and then bind up here and here. Um, maybe something with the uh, Gibbs screws, you know, are tight here and tight here and don't allow me to really move it back and forth as easily as right in here. So um, I don't really know. Also I was wondering how this is attached. I haven't obviously I haven't taken taken this off the, the apron or area or anything but um, I was wondering how this is attached in here. It looks like there's a little brass bushing of some sort here so um, I don't want to. I don't want to rush to do anything and damage anything or muck anything up. But um, I was wondering what what your analysis of all this would be, and um, I might attempt to just make a new uh, lead screw bolt and take out some of the uh, the play. Although as long as it's consistent, uh, I'm not too worried about it. I know. You know, as you said, there's always some some amount of backlash uh, and and play. So, on the um, on the draw bar that's been modified, I drove the pin out, and as you can see, there's no threads in here. It's uh, I, so I'm wondering if maybe they chopped off the threaded part, and then they just put in, they kind of manufactured this and pinned it in place. Um, and, and then that is what allowed these to, to thread into. Uh, it looks like kind of a homebrew affair from what I can tell here. As far as the collets themselves, um, they are Dalton collets. You can see the name there. But um, in the process of putting this threaded piece in, you can see they did, a, they did quite a number on the threaded portion of the of the collets, so um, I'm sure they could be salvaged with some some TIG welding and some rethreading, and I, I may look into doing that one day. Um, I don't know. You mentioned these might be three C collets. I don't I don't know what a three C collet looks like, um, but I'm thinking what I'll probably do is is see about putting a five C call it a five inch five C call it chuck onto uh, the back plate over there and then just purchasing a set of um, five C call it's because I uh, I hear a lot about those call it's and um, I, I've read that they're very accurate so I'm thinking that might be a better way to go than try to salvage this and then <coughs> excuse me, what I'll probably do is just um, modify this in such a way that it 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 has a like a 3/8 um, 16 I think it is uh, 
threaded rod and that'll allow me to use this at least as a, a draw bar for like a, a, a three Morris taper with a, a draw bar thread at the end. So, um, so anyways, that's, uh, that's where things are at. Uh, like I said, I would be curious on your assessment of this since it's, it's not wear on the lead screw and uh, I don't believe there's any wear on these threads. So um, I'm su I suspect that it's uh, it is somewhere here in the dovetail area somewhere, which um, I'll, I'll probably measure at some point and uh, see if I can figure out what's going on. But um, like I said, I'd be, I'd be interested in your comments on that. Okay, I'll, uh, I'll upload this video to YouTube.